What's going on guys, this is Bill from Achievement Land and I'm here with an achievement walkthrough for The Path of Modus. This game just released onto the Xbox One today, July 17th, 2018 for a price of $14.99. So I'm going to walk you through this whole game and show you how to get all the achievements. There's some puzzles in this game. Um, there's some, uh, some hard spots you gotta get past. It's really not that bad though. Um, it's a very short game. You can complete it in like 20 minutes or so. Um, you have to do two playthroughs though. So it should take you about an hour to go through this game. So this is the puzzles that you have to deal with in this game. Um, you have to uh, draw lines between these uh, things and it will have numbers on them. And that shows how many lines it needs on it. So that one needs two connecting and then the middle needs four. So that's why it had two on each side. Um, it gets a lot harder later on and more complex, but I'm going to do all the puzzles for you and show you how to do it, so it'll make it very easy. I'm not going to be talking that much through this because uh, you don't really need me to tell you what to do. You can see it. Um, but like I said, there's two playthroughs. When you're going through a part, um, you can do it without uh, killing the guys, and that's called taking the high road. But I'm just going to save that for the second playthrough and do them all then. You have to do a second playthrough. I knew it because at the end of the game, you unlock new puzzles to do. So you have to go through and, and finish those. Alright, now, these guys shoot stuff at you. And uh, depending on the letter, you can block and shoot it back. So he's red, so you're going to shoot B. And he's X, so you hit X to shoot and block it. It's really simple. Just gotta be careful. Just wait and see what he... They run out of shots, so once you uh, block their shots, then you can kill them. But they get harder later on, but we'll deal with it later on. There's some spots that you have to go in. You might miss them, so just make sure you go in them. There's collectibles. We have to get 22 notes, so we're gonna get all them. Now, these are the puzzles, and uh, so we'll go through this game. And uh, I'll, I'll be talking when necessary, but most of the game, I'm not. And for these puzzles, uh, I'm, most of the time, I'm going to be cutting them to, uh, to the end where I'm just finishing it up. So you can just pause it, and you can match it. Uh, just so you don't have to see me uh, sit there figuring it out. Um, but yeah, if you pause, you can just see how many are, uh, lines are coming out. You can only do two uh, with a box, so it's pretty easy to match up. There's a few times where you can make them uh, shoot each other so you can get past easier. Then I 
stick out from the others. They're clear to see. They won't settle for less than what they need. These guys can be a pain, um, the ones with the question mark. All you have to do though is really just jump a lot. If you jump, uh, they won't shoot. You throw words at people, it's so funny. So this is a little part you go through with uh, your girlfriend. And um, you like switch back and forth. It's pretty easy though. You actually have to stay here with your uh, with the girl. So if you make that thing fall, just fall down. Hey, 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 
Hey. You stop it. <laughs> yeah, so I do this and then you switch back to the girl and she leaves you. I'll see you later, babe. <laughs> and then go through this door. Brings you back to the beginning. And then you get out of here. Like I said at the beginning, we're going to be doing the high road stuff on the second playthrough. But I did some here on accident. But it doesn't matter. You can do some on the play first playthrough and it carries over to the next playthrough. So it doesn't matter. Just don't do all of them. Uh, save them for the second playthrough. But you're not going to be able to do them anyway because... I didn't tell you how to do something yet. We're going to learn how to do something soon that makes the high roads a lot easier. So this guy uh, wants you to come in here. So just go in here and you just got to uh, chill out here, talk to them, and then just kill them and wait it out and you'll get an achievement. This time, uh, just shoot him so he doesn't keep talking to you.
This is my favorite part. <laughs> So, the story, um, you're going and you're uh, trying to go through the woods, which is, everyone says is hard, but you're still doing it. And uh, your girlfriend, they, we went through that uh, part with before, well, she wasn't about it. <laughs> So I carried on through the forest and uh, she met somebody else. So this is where uh, that part takes place. Wow, what a real achievement. Thanks a lot. So that's your new man, huh? Yeah, look at this guy. You know, forget this guy. <laughs> I'm out here doing all these big things and you go and get another guy. That's how it is. You know what? Forget you two. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh man, I just committed a double homicide. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Nobody saw me. Nobody saw anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I never was in there. <laughs> Alright, so this is where you learn the new trick here. Uh, you could do it from the beginning, but... You know, it's not a big deal. You don't really need it. You need it on your second run. So what you do is... Uh, he'll show you right now. But uh, you just fall off and then jump. And then you can get further. Coming up towards the end of the game here, 
just walk over this. It's an invisible pathway. There's gonna be guys here shooting you. They don't actually kill you. You just press A or any button and just keep walking. You jump and shoot and walk over them. Now you have to collect this note. Just wait for that guy to jump over and he gives you... He uh, makes the bridge for you to get over. This is a really simple one. Inside here you get an achievement for seeing the developers. Now this is like the end little area here and the last notes are here. You have to go to this little thing here, this desk and hit Y and this opens up new puzzles. Now we have to go through the game again and uh, just do the rest of the new puzzles. There's not that many of them. Just get the last few notes here and then you can uh, walk out to the left and then it will start the game over. And then we're going to go through and we're going to do the high roads and we're going to do the rest of the thought puzzles. And because you uh, didn't take the high road most of the time and you weren't that great of a guy, apparently, um, you get an achievement called Goblin. Alright, so it brings you right back to the beginning here, and we're going to start doing the high roads right even here at the beginning. This guy here, he's going to start shooting you after. He might kill you, but it's fine. Just make sure you uh, don't kill anybody, and even if you do, you can hit L bumper to uh, redo that part. When you do a high road, you'll see you'll get the yellow in the background, and it will tell you how many have. Now, you really have to use the, the trick with the jumping where you fall off. You also want to jump a lot, that will stop them from shooting. You don't have to go in a lot of these places, uh, just some of them, because they have uh, new puzzles now. And like I said, uh, you just want to jump around a lot um, just to make sure they don't shoot. Because even if they shoot these other ones, it will make it uh, so you don't get the high road. You'll see it will show like a little symbol and they'll have an X on it. And you can just press L bumper and you can redo that little section. And you can also hit start and you can um, go back and you can select parts. So each of these are parts, so it's it's not that hard to go back and... But you could see if you miss something, if you messed up and you go past it, you can, you know, load before it and then redo it. And everything uh, saves. It's really not that hard to do these.
I really love the whispering in this game. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I forgot to get this at the beginning of the game, but it doesn't matter. You can get it on either playthrough, but right after that part, just go in the bottom area here. He blends in very well, so it's hard to see him, but uh, there's a cat down here that you need to talk to. And just listen to what he says, and then you'll get an achievement. If you hit start, you can uh, go through and you can see at the bottom what you have and what you're missing. The bridge and thought doors and the high roads. So you can see uh, if you're missing any, where you're missing them. So we're at the end of the first chapter here. And we're going to go to the second one and finish up. This part can be a little tricky here, but it's not that hard. Now you see at the symbol at the top, it said that I didn't get it. So I held LB, and now I'm back here. I did it quick, but you need to uh, block his shot and then do the, the jump, where you fall down and jump. It's not too bad. This part is a little tricky too. You have to do it before he gets there. You have to jump over this and uh, shoot the button and land on the platform. And then come over here. And there we go. High road taken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll see you later. Probably find another guy or something.
This is the hardest high road to do in the game. You have to go up here, you have to turn around, shoot, and then jump over. The first two he shoots is uh, two at a time, so if you shoot one of them, then you can jump over uh, and you can clear one of them. So it takes a little bit of practice, but it's, it's not too bad. And this one too, you have to get this guy to shoot the button so that you can uh, go over the next part. When you hit that button, uh, the top bridge here comes up and then you can just do the jump and just get up here and you can jump over all of them. This is the part that I got the high roads in uh, the first playthrough. They're very easy to do. Uh, like this one, you just drop down with him and then just follow him and then jump over him. You don't need to go into this again, so just shoot him and walk away. We're at the end of uh, the second chapter here, so if you want, you can uh, look at the bottom and you can see if you have all the high roads and all the bridges and thought doors. So now we just have the third chapter left. There we go, all the bridge and thought doors are done. And now we just have uh, one more high road and then we just need to uh, finish the game and we're done. And that's the last high road. You can go through and just make sure you have everything if you want. And now all we need to do is finish the game.
direction in the room to be standing Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. I made a great accomplishment. Maybe you could tell that to my girlfriend that left me for another man. <laughs> Was it worth it? Ah, whatever. She's dead now, anyway. <laughs> I'll find a new girl. So, after you uh, go to the end here... If you followed the whole guide and you did everything, you collected everything, you did two playthroughs, you'll have your last two achievements pop. 100% completion, collect all items and discover every location. And then also the Path of Modus. Take the Path of Modus. And that's for taking the high road and completing the game. But that's going to be it, guys. Thanks so much. I hope this uh, helped you guys. I do appreciate all the likes and comments and uh, new subscribers. Thanks for everything. So stay tuned for more achievement reviews, walkthroughs, and guides here at Achievement Land.